Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got the Descent Suicidal Gunslinger. It's not a bad map, but uh, definitely not my favorite map. It's one I'm not sure I've ever actually beaten on Hell on Earth. I have beaten it on hard a couple of times, I know that. On Suicidal, I'm not actually sure either, but we will uh, we will definitely remedy that today if, uh, if I haven't already. Because I, I doubt we'll, we'll lose. I mean, it is... It is the, this, the, the Descent is probably one of the harder maps in Killing Floor 2. But, we're only on Suicidal, and I am too good to lose to Suicidal. I mean, maybe we'll lose, but like in a video, we'll, we'll have a win in, in almost every single video these days. You know, coming from, you know, barely being able to move up to Suicidal is... I don't know. I've, I've mentioned it a few times now. Maybe, maybe it's getting a little bit repetitive and... Uh, um, uninteresting, but coming from from having trouble with the uh, with with suicidal and, and and hell on earth and all that, and, co and come from being mostly on hard back in the day, you know, back back in my day, we used to only play on hard and we liked it too. And anyway, back in my day, we only played on hard, and uh, I liked it. It was fun. And now I'm like, yo. Why would I play hard when I can play suicidal? And it's also fine on like any perk at pretty much any level. Just about anyway. I know it's uh it's fun. It's fun seeing that improvement. Also, I mentioned it in, a, in an episode last week, but the uh, the motivation thing. I don't think I did a good job of uh, describing myself, because I just watched that video uh, last night. Get out of here. And uh, I, I feel like I didn't do a good job of explaining it, but it's uh, it's, it's fun to, to have to see that that motivational difference. I don't know. I, I, it went up, and I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna feel like uh, I feel I feel like people are gonna mostly look at it and think that I'm I'm not having fun doing this, and I'm like forcing myself to do it. And they're like, well, don't force yourself to play it if you don't want to play. It. Killing for too, but don't play it. But the thing is, is I, I do want to have a reason to play it. I just outside of recording it, I, just, I don't really have any any reason to play it, and uh, so I, I generally don't. And uh, I like that. So I don't know. Well, the episode should have just went live like not too long ago. So I'll see if I, uh, if I actually get those comments or not after uh, this recording session, which is almost over now. Which makes me kind of sad because. It was a pretty quick recording session, all things considered. I didn't uh, didn't die too many times. I, I think I lost one video this week, which is not too bad. And then uh, they're going by reasonably quickly, so you know it's pretty good. It's nice to be able to sit down and just record. So I'm looking forward to uh, to soon when I start to record. I'm kind of looking forward. Well, no, actually, I am looking forward to it. Cause I was, I was thinking, you know, the uh, the Yamajack Tries series, the uh, the soon-to-be properly named series that is that is coming up in the uh, in the near future. Uh, you know, we be recording that, and we're doing the same thing. We're recording them all in one day, probably. Maybe not all in one day, but like probably they will be uh, not not recorded the day of. I don't think because I just I, I don't have like. The motivation to do that. I'd like to do it that way because um, that way, if somebody re like recommends a game and they're like, "Hey, check out this game," then I can like do that in a day or two. Um, but I don't really have. <laughs> I don't really wanna. So, you know, um, I say you know a lot. Oh, we've got uh, we got the bug again. Thought it felt a little bit strange. Thought it felt a little strange. Wasn't doing what I wanted it to. But I'm looking forward to recording that. It's gonna be a like 20 to 25 minute video, so I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be so much more so much more to record because there's so much longer, but I'm only recording half as many a week, so it's not really gonna be that bad. At the start I'm definitely gonna be recording it all at one go because uh I mean just thinking logically here, right? How many comments am I really gonna get? 
I don't, I don't have enough viewers to get so many comments that people are going to be disappointed when I don't play the game that they want me to play for an extra, you know, three days or something like that. And I don't, I certainly don't get enough comments to where I couldn't just reply to them and say, hey, yeah, no, I'll be doing that uh, next week. Looks good. I have gotten a couple of uh, requests for games, but somebody wanted me to play uh, Black Rock Galactic or something like that. But to me, I don't know, it just doesn't... People say it's kind of like Killing Floor 2. It's not. It's not It's not even in the slightest bit like Killing Floor 2. Oh my. It's not, it's not even a little like Killing Floor 2. They are completely different games. You know? And, and perhaps, yes, it, it looks like a fine game, but it's not not so much for me. I need that, it's, it's, uh, this, this... Is it called Black Rock Galactic? I don't even know. But it's like some space game where you go and you mine and... Uh, you gather resources and there's, uh, occasionally some, like, wave-based, uh... Bugs spawning and stuff and... I don't know, it looks, it looks like a fine game, it might be fun to play, but... It's it's a try it once and then probably never play it again kind of game for me. So we'll uh, we'll not we'll not be seeing that coming uh, coming up in in full 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 bore full full you know it, it's not it's not coming as as a main series I don't think maybe maybe once I play it and uh, try it if I do uh, I'll fall in love with it and uh, want to play it more but I've I've seen some some gameplay of it and it just it doesn't it doesn't really interest me it doesn't I don't know people people say oh yeah it's just like killing floor 2 but better and I'm like well not though because in killing floor 2 you don't have to keep an eye out for like ores in the walls and go and mine them and then defend your position like you just yeah but it's like if you had objective mode I'm like yeah but I don't really want objective mode. I don't know, people are really like adamant that they want objective mode. In general, people are really negative about Killing Floor 2, which kind of annoys me. Because it's a good game. Uh, people are, it, it just feels like people are entitled to me, to a certain extent, because they get so upset about the game not being updated for free anymore. You know? Like, they get so, so upset about it. And, uh, it's just, it's kind of insane to me that that you would expect to still be getting free updates so many years later when you've already spent your money on it. You're not you're not spending any more money. You're like, I don't want to keep spending money. You want me to keep paying? I already bought the game. Just keep giving me free updates forever. Like, you just, you, you, you bought the game. You, you, you bought it as it was, and you got a bunch of free updates since then. Like, just be glad you got any. I don't know. People are people are generally pretty negative about it, and I I think that the ten dollar DLC is a little bit expensive. I'm I'm glad that they brought the price down with the uh, the recent update, with the uh, the Glock and all that. I'm, I'm glad that they brought the price down. But uh, even even at ten dollars, it was it was definitely a little bit expensive. But if that's what they want to sell it at, then like that's what they want to sell it at. Just deal with it. Don't buy it or. Buy it doesn't really affect anything. So I don't know. People are people are so negative about it. It happens in so many games because they just I mean you know you, you care about the game right? Like people care about Killing Floor 2 and they want to see Killing Floor 2 continue to be better and better and better. But it's not a subscription game. You don't keep paying for it. You know you can't just keep getting free updates for it forever. And like at a certain point you 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 know the reason you add those free updates is because you get more people coming in and buying it. Right, like you put out a new update and you get new users who come and buy it. But at a certain point, you've already got all the people who are going to play your game. Right, like there's there's only so many people who are going to play Killing Floor 2 in the world. And at a certain point, you start hitting those like diminishing returns where you've already got the people who are going to play it and are going to be able to, to, to notice your, your, your marketing and all this and, and be interested in it. And uh, it's not it's not worth continuing to put in time into it anymore. So you have to add DLC or whatever to, to, to justify making any updates at all. Bug fixes even, you know? Exploits. Paying for the servers that uh, that they host. 
I don't know. People people are so negative about it, but and it, it hurts. It's 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 counterproductive. Is is what it is? Because people will be so negative. Look, oh, I know this game's bad. Like don't even don't even buy it. It's it's dead. Don't don't buy this game. And then people don't buy it because people are like, oh yeah, this game's dead. Don't buy it. And then they don't have purchases coming in, so they can't afford to make free updates and then the game just gets worse in their eyes because not improving is somehow worse um, and uh, it's just it's all mess I, I view it personally as being a little bit uh, ridiculous because uh, you can't you can't expect free updates forever okay you just you can't at a certain point They've spent all the money. They have bills to pay, families to feed. I don't know. People, people just don't seem to, to realize that, I feel like. And uh, it kind of disappoints me when I'm reading the subreddit and I see people so negative about the game. And I don't know. The game's still fun. It's, it's, you can still go shoot things. It's still a fun game. I'm still having fun. I'm hundreds of hours in and I'm, I'm still... I don't know, doing thousands more. And uh, people just get so negative about it. It's really, really annoying. Anyway, that's good to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.